Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to build this Arduino robotic board. You can use this board to make different kinds of robots and you can use this as a customized Arduino. So let's get started. First of all, I'm showing how I design my PCB. For designing PCB, I'm using ECEDA online platform. This is the basic circuit diagram of a Arduino standalone circuit. You can download this schematics from my blog. From this basic circuit diagram, I designed this circuit diagram. You can see I connected a lot of inputs, motor drivers, power supply, etc. You can download this circuit also from my blog. Then I converted that into a PCB. Our PCB looked like this. Now you can see the 3D view of our PCB. Our finalized view like this. After completing all checking, I generated Gerber file. You can see Gerber file is downloaded. Now let's order our PCB. For that, I'm using JLC PCB. Go to JLC PCB's website and click on code now. PCB ordering is very simple. Just add your Gerber file, click on add Gerber file. You can see it's uploading. After uploading, we can see our PCBs here. We can select the PCB parameters here like thickness, color, etc. You will get 5 PCBs for $2. That's all about PCB designing and ordering. After 15 days, I got my pack from JLC PCB. You can see I got a keychain from JLC PCB and also our PCBs. I just opened the cover. This is our PCB, it looks like awesome, you can see everything is fine and perfect, 1.6mm PCB is very strong. Now why this PCB, you can see the hard mega chip is over here, you can see two rows of digital and analog pins, that is the basic circuit of as Arduino standalone circuit you can see L293D motor driver and dedicated slot for Bluetooth module servo and ultrasonic sensor also it has a dedicated slot for potentiometers and 3.3 volt outputs you can see SPI connections over there everything is neat and good now let's grab all components and start soldering First I placed the base of our Mega328 chip. This step is very simple. Just place all components corresponding to their holes and just solder. There is no need of explanation. So enjoy the show.
After completing 10 minutes of soldering, our PCB looks like this. Now let's check our board. For that I connected Arduino to computer and uploaded Blink Sketch. Then I removed Admega 328 chip from Arduino Uno. And then I placed that uh, Admega 328 in our customized PCB. You can see everything is working perfectly. I'm using 7.4 volt lithium ion battery to power the customized board. I already built one more board. You can see here. So everything is working perfectly. One of the major problem is to programming the Admega 328. Every time you need to remove the Admega 328 from the chip. But there is another way and that is ISP programming. I will show you that in another video. So why this board? I told you before using this board you can build different kinds of robots. This board also act like a chase of the robot so it's very good for small robots and you can build different kinds of projects using this board. It will decrease the total cost of the project. So that's all about today. In the upcoming part, I will show you how to upload code through ISP programming mode and also I will show you how to build different kinds of robot by using this board. Hope you learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.